describe Jolene as a taskmaster? Jolene was a perfectionist. She is intensely loyal and she will really go to bat for her kids. Very dedicated, um, very driven, very uh, methodical. She didn't like kids to mess around in her rehearsals. Uh, she ran very efficient rehearsals and so we always got a lot of things done. She was very determined. She was very, um, she had very high expectations uh, that she set not just for necessarily those students who were really involved in music, but also for just the general choir. Loved what she does when she was here as, as a director of music. The really good choir program in my school district, Clinton, Iowa, um, developed my passion for music. My motivation for getting into music education was I wanted to direct choirs and I wanted to help people find the same enjoyment in it that I had. So that seemed like a good route to take. I learned a lot from her. Um, I was her accompanist for about 14 years, and there were a lot of things as a director I didn't know. I was a piano player, so I didn't really know the directing part of it, but I learned a lot about her, about what she does, and, and I learned to listen really well to the, to the kids that were singing and the things that she could pick up even when they're doing four or five or six parts. She could hear that and she could correct them as she was going along. And, and it taught me to listen to that as well. She got um, amazing songs out of possibly not amazing singers sometimes. Because she expects a lot from her students, or expected a lot from her students, she got a lot. She wanted you to make sure you knew what you were singing about, so we did, you know, I remember we always would study the composers we were singing, um, maybe what the, what the uh, lyrics meant. We rehearsed. When we were almost ready to perform, we would turn the lights off and hold hands and just listen to each other. She'd give us a note on the pitch pipe, but we almost didn't need it. We knew the music so well. And then we would just feel and listen to each other. It was, it was really something. We all blended together. We, we weren't able to like move or show anything that made us stand out um, and be different from one another. And so she just made us better as a whole group um, by just being very methodical and uh, she was a perfectionist. She's one of those teachers that uh, went beyond what was required and offered lessons and things to individuals to help them grow as individual singers, was involved in the musicals and, uh, and then making us into one of the best choirs in the state. Jolene put in lots of hours, lots of extra time that she never got paid for, and she really cared about her singers. She didn't want to waste time, especially when she had 50 or 60 kids, but you could also really tell that she cared about you. The hard work and the number of people we had recognized as all state singers, because literally while I was here for 30 years, we had in the hundreds of all state singers. So that was something I'm pretty proud of. My most notable moments during my teaching career, probably I would say when we were selected to go to um, national conventions of the Choral Directors Association and state conventions and, and division conventions. Um, that and directing musicals. My favorite production I did with uh, Mrs. Woods was uh, my senior year. We did Oklahoma uh, by Rodgers and Hammerstein. Uh, I was, it was my senior year, I was the lead, so it was kind of, it was the end of the year, so it was kind of the culmin, I kind of felt like it was the culmination of, of my high school singing career. She loved her kids, but she expected a lot of, out of the kids that she taught. So she's one of the teachers that gave me something that I now can use in life. I you know, continue to sing now and uh, really enjoy that. I do direct a choir at my church and now I can take that. I learned from her and use it there. People knew who 
Jolene was. They knew um, the standard of excellence that Mount Vernon choirs had. They knew what they knew what they were getting when they had a Mount Vernon choir student come. She spent the same amount of time and effort on on every kid. So whether you were you know whether you were the best singers or, or not, she has incredibly high expectations for her singers, and she doesn't let them slack off. She um, probably has what I think most people would think of as a very strict exterior, but inside she's actually a very caring and warm person. Uh, I would hope to be remembered that I was very demanding and that we achieved a high level of excellence and that students appreciated that. My senior year I got uh, a best in center for a solo and I was like completely astounded. I didn't think it was going to happen but to her it was like no surprise. Um, but throughout that process leading up to it she was never she was never filling my head with like you know you're gonna you're gonna do really great here or you're, you're gonna be you know blowing people away. It was very much just uh, task and, and work oriented. My mom played piano for the high school choirs and the middle school choirs and so many times I had to tag along with my mom to go to those um, rehearsals if they were at, the, at night or whenever. Um, I also turned pages for my mom so I went to all the concerts and I was up on stage with them um, and then a lot of times some of the groups like all state groups came to our house with Ms. Nelson. After she retired she does this mentorship program through the Iowa Choral Directors Association where um, she would mentor new music teachers and so and I'm not a music teacher but so she she had this music teacher she mentored and um, this girl that she never met before and after after mentoring her for one day at the end of the at the end of the day she said you need to meet Ben and uh, so she came up to me a few days later and said I have this girl I want you to meet and I was hesitant because you know who thinks they're going to be set up by their high school choir director, but um, I went out on a limb and I went out on a date with this girl and now we've been married for over two years. The excellent choirs that we have today I think are still, she's still responsible for that. I mean there's a new director and there's a new vision I'm sure, but um, there's so many people over the years that have had her, um, whether it's working on musicals, whether it's working in a choir, and she really helped those people instill a love for music. In an indirect way, I credit Jolene with getting my daughter Katie through high school. When Katie was in high school was when the suicides occurred and it was very, very hard on Katie. And um, she missed some school because of it. But the thing that kept her connected and kept her wanting to come back so that she wanted to be a part of that choir. And she didn't want to let Mrs. Woods down. I just, I really thank Jolene for that. If she ever sees this, if she ever, Jolene, if you ever see this, thanks.